All right, guys, this is just a health update. This is uh, April the 7th, 2022. A lot of you guys have uh, been been keeping up with uh, my battle with brain cancer. This is just a quick update from me, letting you guys know how I'm doing. First of all, you can see that I've got some hair growing back, so that's awesome. And that's the side, the side where they went in. And you can see I've got quite a bit of stubble going on. So it, it's trying to make a comeback. So that's kind of cool. That's really cool. So you can see, even on this side of the head, got some baldness. But hey, that's a whole lot better than it was. You can see quite a bit of stubble. She's trying to make a comeback, and I'm just going to let it go. I'm not going to go hippie or anything, but I'm just going to let it go for now. See see what she does. So first off, I'm, I'm feeling really good. I am currently under a chemotherapy treatment. I was supposed to start th this Monday. I believe that would have been the 4th of April, if, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, my chemo pills did not make it to me. And uh, the reason for that, I had to select a... Because uh, I'm on Medi Medicaid right now. I had to select a Medicaid plan. And uh, that, that was done. But the uh, medication that, uh, that I had, you know, coming to me that particular company that was sending it to me was not in network with uh, the new insurance plan that I have going on. So had to go with a company that, that is in network. All, all of this medical stuff is just, it's complicated, it's frustrating, it, it's a downright pain in the butt. So... But it's just something that uh, that you have to deal with. And so the company says that they have my 100 milligram capsules, you know, prepared and ready to send out. The 180 milligram capsules, they don't have uh, prepared yet. So it's basically, I take two of the 180s and uh, one of the 100 milligram capsules every day for a five-day period you know per cycle so basically I do that for five days Monday through Friday and then the weekend off and then three weeks off after that but you have to understand this chemo it's strong I mean it, it is really really strong I have had a little bit of uh, tingling in in my fingers and actually, it's been short. shortly after taking the medication each day. I can feel a little bit of tingling, but it's not all the time. From time to time, I'll, I'll have that little bit of tingling sensation, and then it'll go away. It's kind of like it hits, and, and then it goes away. As far as my motor you know, function, all of that has, has remained. I haven't had any issues... Sometimes, like right now, when when I get to talking really fast, I kind of get to get to stumbling over my words a little bit, and I I think I think that's with with anybody, you know, you you get to talking really fast. A lot of us, you know, stumble over over our words when when we do that. It's it's not just me. I think we all do it, trying to get a lot of information out in a short period of time. And I'm not trying to rush this video. I'm just uh, trying to get all out what I'm trying to say. So, but yeah, guys, I'm I'm doing good. I'm feeling good. Just trying to get through uh, this uh, treatment. The neuro oncologist yesterday had a discussion with him. He's he said my last MRI looked really really good. All of the uh, you know. Everything that, that that showed up, you know, a, appeared to be really good. And he said uh, he's wanting me to 
to get through uh, the treatment by the end of the year. That's what we're shooting for. So I'm feeling really good. I'm doing really good. Um, just uh, trying to to beat this thing, and I feel like I'm going to do that. I just got to keep uh, moving forward. But uh, as for right now, I'm, I'm doing really good. So just trying to get through uh, this treatment trying to uh, keep moving forward and uh, I feel like I've been doing that very well and I'm um, just gonna keep on keeping on doing what I need to do and uh, the number one thing with that is just staying positive I have had a few days here and there where I've gotten a little down and f and the main frustration has been just trying to to get this medication in you know now that I have a Medicaid plan, you know, everything has to be in network with your uh, health care provider. You know, you got to go through sometimes certain pharmacies and certain medications, you know, have to be, you know, in your network. And it, it's frustrating. It, it really is. And, and it's not just my situation, but everybody's. Uh, medical plan certain medications are in your network certain medications are not so it's just uh, I don't want to say it's a hassle but it's a pain in the booty a pain in the booty a pain in the butt is, is what it is and, and it's just something you have to deal with so the FDA is gonna make sure that they get their money don't worry about that. So, regardless of who your health care provider is, they're going to make sure that they get their money. And uh, that's really what it's all about, in my opinion. The FDA wants to make their money, and they want to keep patients, people, you know, reliant on a lot of medication and uh, keep making their money. In my opinion, this is just my opinion, a cure for cancer has existed for years. They don't want to reveal that because why? They want to keep making their money. So, yeah, that's just my opinion. I believe that a cure for cancer has existed for many, many, many years. And I believe if you've got the money, if you're, you know, a big Hollywood star, something of that nature, and you reach out to the right people, I believe that you can get that shot or, or whatever it may be. But you got to have a lot of money to do that. AIDS, the same thing. I believe a cure exists, you know. And a lot of people may, may think, Mike, you're crazy. I, I don't think I'm crazy. I think I'm spot on. And, uh... It, it's really it's really sad you know we got a COVID vaccine that they were able to uh, come up with that in a relatively uh, quick span of time if they're able to do that if they're able to do that trust and believe they found a cure to cancer a long time ago that's just my opinion so all right guys I'm doing good just wanted to let you guys know how I'm how I'm doing feeling good you guys take it easy